I'm Chris Stefanik here with Pat Lencioni, and here's your three-minute reset. I want to talk about pruning. There's a beautiful book by Henry Cloud called Necessary Endings. And to sum it up with an image, it's really powerful. A rose bush, by its nature, is going to produce more buds than it can nourish. So you have to prune it. You have to cut some off. If you don't, it's going to be pretty, right? But if you do prune it and cut off the right ones and, and nourish the right ones, it's going to be a stellar rose bush. And this is the same with our own lives. And Jesus talked about this image of pruning. This is John 15. I'm the true vine. My father's the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does, he prunes. What stops us from cutting things off that aren't bearing fruit? And I think so much is that pruning always hurts Hmm. and there's always pain involved and we have to choose it knowing that there's something greater coming. But if we're constantly trying to avoid pain and hurt and negative, difficult things, then we won't go there. And I know even in the world of business, if you're not stopping activities or canceling a product here or deciding that some customer base isn't right for you, you can't serve the one you want. You can't launch the new thing. But so many organizations, I find this in churches and a lot of schools, they say we can never stop doing anything that we've done in the past, which means they can never fully give enough attention and energy to the new things. Pruning is a part of nature. It's a part of organizational life. It's a part of what we have to go through. But we have to be willing to take. It's like that old saying, no pain, no gain. Right. Pruning is involves pain. It's really painful. I mean, as a parent, my kids, I have to accept this. They can't do every sport. Right. Yeah. Oh, I'll drive myself nuts. And as a ministry, I can't do every area of ministry. And I'm going to disappoint people by stopping certain things that aren't bearing much fruit. But I think my own personal struggle with giving up things that, that aren't going as well as I had wanted, it comes when I start attaching my self worth to that project, to that thing that I was trying to succeed at. I have to be okay saying my self worth comes from being a child of God. And if this thing isn't bearing much fruit, I'm going to cut it off. And guess what? That's okay. That has no bearing upon me as a human being. You know, I was in my 20s and I gave up distance running. I thought maybe one day I'll get good again and go to the Olympics. And I remember the day I said, I am not going to do that. It was kind of painful because I thought that's a dream I had that's now over. But the relief that eventually came from that was so much greater. But we always have to understand that it's not about just today. It's about the future. And pruning today will bring about beautiful, beautiful growth tomorrow. I'm glad that instead of being a distance runner, you became a (laughs) Atlancioni. Me too. Me too. So let's pray. God, help us when it's time to prune, to have the wisdom and the courage to do that. Help us to listen to you. And um, when it's difficult, help us to lean on you to, to do what is best because you know what we need. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.